Hi everybody and welcome to POS Potential Product Innovation Review. Today we're going to spend a little time reviewing this new ice cream from Ferrero and specifically the Raffaello version. So if you're a big ice cream fan, you'll know that every summer um, one of the big innovations is brought by Magnum. So this year they brought this specific version of the Magnum. Well, have a review on it because it is a very strong product as well but today we're going to spend a little time talking about the product brought by Ferrero. They also have two other versions uh, Ferrero Rocher version and a dark chocolate version but today we'll focus on our favorite one which is the Raffaello one. We like this one best for one simple and very specific reason and it's actually linked to the pack and more specifically to the color of the pack. This is a pack that's completely white and then we think that stands out so much in the freezers that just for this factor it's going to be a huge success. So if you remember in the freezers most of the ice cream packagings are dark colors so uh, either brown or even black or chocolate colors and this white packaging is going to stand out very nicely in the freezers. On top of this it's a range extension that makes total sense. If you remember, Raffaello brand and the Ferrero Rocher brand are very strong around Christmas time, so they are sweets that are very seasonal. And here in Spain, these sweets even disappear after April or May, and so you don't find them in the shops during the summer. They come back after the summer. So bringing this brand in the shops at a time when the consumers is not expecting it is so smart and they've done it in a way where they've kept all the elements of the brand so in this case for Raffaello they kept the exact same name the exact same flavor and the exact same shape so this this is a round ice cream and actually the taste which I'm not able to share today is very similar to the sweets so it's cocoa flavored and very similar and reminds you uh, very strongly the, the sweets that we know from, from Christmas time. One other aspect that's very interesting among uh, the Raffaello uh, ice cream collection is the pricing. So this is a four unit pack that's priced at about four euros, which is about one euro per ice cream. And if we compare that, to the pricing of the Magnum, it is actually about the same price than a classic Magnum. But the weight is quite different. This is a 47 gram ice cream, which is actually the weight of the mini Magnum. So Ferrero is clearly aiming at a very premium market and has a quite decent price gap in price uh, per kilo compared to the main competitor. So I'm very interested to see how this develops and what that's going to mean for Unilever and in terms of pricing of its own Magnum ice cream. One final aspect on uh, the development of this product is the distribution strategy. And the distribution strategy is actually exclusive to hyper and supermarkets at the moment. We are guessing that this has something to do with um, the development of the productive capacity. So Ferrero bought an ice cream factory here near Valencia to develop these specific ice cream in-house. So they previously had an agreement with Unilever to develop the Kinder ice cream and uh, we are guessing that they now want to take one more step in the sector, develop their know-how in production of ice creams and they probably had a bit too much on their plate for this summer and decided to say okay we we're just going to distribute this in hypermarket supermarket it's already difficult enough to produce ice cream and the whole logistics around it is gonna is, we're gonna be very occupied with that and probably decided to to focus on hyper and supermarkets which is probably a, a good idea so we're actually very curious to see what happens next summer if they're going to be attacking the out of home channel as well and what's going to happen with the Kinder brand? Are they going to produce it themselves now? We'll make sure to update you on that. Thank you for watching.